Wait, legendary? 7k dreamer please. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be checking out Mythic Awaken May's special dungeon with her lover Joker. And I don't think Joker is gonna be a big threat, so don't worry. For May, she increases crit rate by 20% each turn, so by turn 5 she will get 100% crit. She also has accuracy rate increase, uh, immune to magic, and also increases her single target damage by 20%, which means you have to use a physical DPS, which includes May herself if you have built her out. But just a heads up, I did not manage to reset or quit my dungeon before I could try May, so there's no May uh, in this video. And for her top skill, she deals 400% to one enemy and also has an increased chance to exploit vulnerability for 3 turns, which means she will not miss for the next 3 turns. And for bottom skill, that's 700% to one enemy, ignore 60% of defense. Her Awaken skill is the more powered version of her bottom skill, it deals 800% and ignores 70% defense. And for Joker, he does increase crit rate of all allies by 20%, but that doesn't stack with May, so don't worry. He does, however, also stun. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so this is the team I'll be using. Shane, uh, Eileen, Fenrir, Rachel, and Mist. I'm using Mist because I'm pretty lazy to cast Fenrir's skill. I think you can save time on that. So I'm gonna use... I'm gonna charge up uh, Shane's Awakened skill, actually before casting the debuff because you know if you cast the debuff first and you don't attack then you're just wasting the turn count right so i would prefer to actually get shane's awakened skill get her to transform first and then uh, use the debuff so that you know you can pretty much be assured that your next 12 turns of debuff will just be for damage purposes Finish. and actually i didn't realize just now that maze animation <laughs> the word the words are flipped. So you can see that if you're pretty much using a HP armor, she actually won't do that much damage to you because I think the dungeon enemies are not geared anyway, so it's not too big damage. Shane does 6.3 million to Joker, which is insane. But then again, he's a normal hero, <laughs> okay? Unawakened hero. So here I use Rachel's bottom skill to reduce the cooldown for Shane so that she can use her skill again without waiting a whole 30 seconds. But you know, with all the animations going on, you may be better off not even just resetting the cooldown, just letting time go by. See how that goes, okay? Uh, she does one-shot May for sure because Shane is just super strong. Now, um, I'm gonna show you my equipment, which is Shane Speed Lethal, okay? She should be on speed crit by the way, speed crit is better. Uh, double HP, uh, physical attack increase, crit damage and lethal damage increase and skill cooldown. And also increase damage dealt on magic and offensive heroes with the accessory. Okay, this chain has no limited traits unlocked, okay, just to give you guys a more you know, realistic picture. But if you do have uh, limited traits unlocked for her, you can actually change them to increase damage dealt on to offensive heroes if you want to. And then for the front line, Eileen, okay, oops, this is the wrong Eileen. <laughs> this is my PvP Eileen. So this is my PvE Eileen. HP, Willful Ring, and Defensive Jewels. As always, I always mention that these three are the needed ones. HP, you know, uh, Willful Ring, and Offensive Jewels. Rachel for as well, and Mist as well. Okay, so the front line, you just need to make sure they survive. Now there is another DVS you can use and that is Galidus. And for Galidus, I will not use Rachel, I will use Yuri instead. The setup for Galidus is exactly the same as how you would set up Shane. Okay, completely the same. No limited traits on Galidus as well. And uh, we're gonna have a look. So with Galidus, you will want to use the debuff first because he has no transformation skill. So use the Yuri bottom skill to land a debuff so that you will do maximum damage on Mei and Joker. Take note that Galidus did use his speed attack first, so he will charge his Awakened Gage earlier. That's the whole point of giving him speed. And uh, he does have enough crit and lethal if you have guild buffs and Yuri and Fenrir, so don't worry about that. You see that uh, Mei actually blocked the attack, which is pretty unfortunate, but Nonetheless, this attack will definitely not kill on the first turn. Now if you use the Awakened skill here on the third turn, he will do insane amount of damage, 22 million. So 
they will definitely die. And if you want, you can even charge his Awakened Gauge faster so that he can get his Awakened skill maybe by turn 2. Okay, and yeah, unfortunately I failed to quit the dungeon here, otherwise I can try Mei and I did get a legendary success though, which is very surprising and yeah. So let me know what you guys think of the dungeon, I don't think it's very difficult but I do love to see that they're putting different heroes with the main hero and I like that kind of an interaction. Big shout out to my channel members ZMD Phoenix and DC Dahi and Reggie Potista for the support. Stay tuned for more videos, thank you so much and see you!